So I thought I'd post an update on my G3 project. Working on the rear hat for the hardtop and working on the windshield windscreen frame. I had cut some rust out of this windscreen frame and and welded some patches in there and it was pretty solid everywhere except when I started to strip the paint off around these edges I was finding not a lot but just random little pinholes of rust which are next to impossible to weld up because when you hit them with a welder they just blow out and get bigger um, so I did weld them up and I have laid a one layer of fiberglass mat over the whole outside of the windscreen frame. Uh, not on the inside, the inside is uh, nice, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, not sure if that's the greatest idea in the world, putting fiberglass over top of it. It'll, it'll definitely stop the rust from coming through and I guess, I guess it'll be stronger too. I just didn't see another solution for that because I don't want, uh, you know, little pinholes coming through couple of years down the road. I took some rust converter um, called uh, Conquest. It's a, it's a rust converter that uh, sort of binds the binds the rust and turns it into a, a primer that's that's pretty much waterproof and it's paintable. So that's all sloshed around on the inside. So that'll stop the rust and then the fiberglass will stop it from coming through. Um, something to note if you aren't familiar with fiberglass or you're looking to do some, uh, the thing to use for this is a waxed resin because you're just putting on one coat and what the wax does is it allows the uh, the resin to harden without being tacky when it's done. It'll be smooth and you can touch it. If you use unwaxed resin it'll be sticky because it's actually made uh, with the intention of laying more layers of fiberglass over top and then the finished coat would be waxed so uh, and then the thing with waxed is you also before you start sanding it or putting on any sort of filler or anything like that you want to take some acetone and give it a good scrub and take the wax off because the wax will stop uh, body filler from from uh, sticking or binding and it'll also plug up your sandpaper really bad so um, that's something to take note of. I laid a, the, the, this hatch was pretty busted up. It had a few cracks here and there, so you can see where I used a uh, fiberglass, uh, they call it kitty hair. Or it's basically resin and fiberglass fiber mixed. I'd repaired it with that, and then I took a layer again of glass mat and I put it over top. And it's pretty sturdy now. It's a little heavier than it used to be, but it'll last a lot longer. And yeah, so that's what I got going on today. Just thought I'd post that little bit of an update. Have a good day and thanks for watching.